Welcome to Python series for beginners by NetSet OS. Today in this video, we'll be discussing very, very important concept in Python that is filter, map and reduce method. Filter method filters the given iterable with the help of function that test each element in the iterable that returns true or false. Here syntax is filter with a function name and an iterable. Iterable for which loop work. It can be tuple, list or a dictionary. Let's see how filter works with an example. Here we have a number range from 1 to 9. Then we have defined an even number function which returns the same number which is present in the list but only even number or else it will return none as we have given if value modulus 2 which returns only even number. Now for function we'll use this filter. Here we have used this function name which is even underscore n and the num which we have in the list and function name is even underscore n wherever it returns the even number the list will store that particular number this filter function has two variables in function first is function name which is even underscore n and the second one is the list which i want a even number so out of this whatever we get even number will be stored in this list so when i run this i'll get all the even numbers out of the this number list in the form of list here so this filter function will filter from large number of value to the values which are even number but stored in the form of list of course, we can do this with the help of for loop, but it is much cleaner way, which is helpful in data science also. Now comes another method in function, which is map. Map function applies to each element of the iterable. Iterable that is list, tuple, range, for which loop can be applied and returns a list of the output. Let's see the syntax for map. First is function name and the second one is iterable. Let's understand this with example. Here I have list of numbers for which I have to apply cube on each of the element. Like here we should have 1, 8, 27, 64 and 125. Now for this if I want to write in a traditional way, I can write it as for this, I'll make a cube where there will be an empty list. And here I have to define a for loop for i in num and cube dot append for i comma 3. And after coming out of the loop, the cube. So here, whatever the value will be in the cube will be stored in cube by appending function. So when I run this, I'll get all the cube numbers in a list. Now let's see the use of map also. I'll comment this. First of all, I have defined a function cube where we need to do cube of each number on each value of the list which will return in cube of number here we have a map with two variables in the parameter first is function name and the second one is original list which is one two three four and five so we want this function map should be applied on each element of the list and after applying this function on each element of the list will return in the new list with the name cube value so the value which we will receive after this calculation of cube should be stored in the new list 
with the name cube value. If we look closely, filter and map has same syntax, but the difference is filter applies this function on each element of the list, but filters the value wherever it returns false, the value will not be included in the new list. While map applies this function on each element of this list and returns all the values in the list after computation. So map is much more cleaner way to write program without a for loop. Let's have a look on reduce function. Well, reduce function is used for performing some computation or calculation on a list, but returns in a single result, which is unlike map and filter. Syntax is first reduce two values in the parameter. First is function name and the second one is iterable. Let's understand this with example. If we have to write a program on product of a number for which I have number in a list, let's say one, two, three, four, five. If we are writing in a traditional way as we used to write with the help of for loop, we will write for i in num where we will provide prod is equal to prod in i for which I need to define prod is equal to one prod stands for product and then I'll just print and here I'll give product of numbers are and when I run this program I'll get 120. Now let's see how it will work with the help of reduce function. First of all, reduce will be imported from func tools in version 3.0. So I'll write from func tools import reduce. And here we need to write the reduce which has syntax as function name and the other one is iterable. So function name is the product and iterable is the list which we have now. So here I'll give function name as product and iterable as num. Let's assign this value to the prod equal to and we will print the same thing. Now when I run this, I'll get the same value product of number is 120. So the difference between the reduce method and the traditional ways, you don't need to use the for loop in reduce method. It is much more cleaner way than the loop method. So basically, what reduce method do here, it will work as A cross B. For example, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So A acts as 1 while B acts as 2. So when it says return A cross B, so here it will return 2 into 1 is 2. Now, this will act as A and here 3 will act as B. Then when it says A cross B, 3 into 2 is 6. Similarly, here it will A will be 6 and B will be 4. Here it will give 6 into 4 is 24. Now 24 into 5 will be 120. So when I run this program, I'll get 120. Coming to the difference between map, filter and reduce, these both works on each element of the function name. But here filter always discards the value, whichever value is not returned by the function. Whereas map calculate on each element of the function, whereas reduce 
applies a rolling computation to sequential pair of values. That means here it will work with 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 4, 24, whereas 24 into 5 is 1. So this is how map, filter and reduce works in function. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.